just saying, it's not about me or you. No, it's about my girlfriend and what she wants for her birthday. I can't stand this anymore, the bickering and the backstabbing. Learn to live with each other or you live without me. Bon Dieu, from the French bon Dieu. So literally, good God. But not quite as Westerners understand the concept. Bon Dieu is very hands-off. There's no point praying to him for help to get you out of a tricky situation. <laughs> Damn. No, you want chips over? Ah, have you scoffed a lot already? Now he's got his eye on the birthday cake. I told him he had to wait. What for? She's not coming. Uh, no, don't go. We're hearing all about Haitian voodoo. Yeah, there's a lot more to it than just sticking pins and dolls, you know. Ah, no, that's a fallacy. That has nothing to do with voodoo at all. You only think it does because you've seen far too many horror movies. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm not really in the mood for a party. What? I'm really sorry, but you're going to have to go home. Did we do something wrong? No, it wasn't you guys. Um, but I've got to get this one to bed and he won't sleep with the noise. Well, we could keep it down for an hour. Where's Nicole? I really think we should get going. Thank you, Luke. My car's down the road. Who wants a ride? Should we risk it? I cannot get any more bored than I am already. Night. Night. Bye. Great monkey, upstairs. Hi. Hi. I'm going to put this one down. I might read him for a while. And then will you come for some cake? It looks lovely. No, I'm tired. But it's your birthday. You have to. With you two not talking to each other, how much fun would that be? Play toys. Play toys. Oh, hi. I thought you were grounded. Her mother finally cracked this morning. Couldn't face a weekend with her. <laughs> so she's ours for the night. Right. Um, so, did you talk to Bussa? Yes. I think we understand each other. We had a good chat and then we had some pizza with Miss Greedy Guts here. <laughs> well, I was wondering about a DVD. Are you guys in? Let me get change and I'll run down the shop and grab one. Can I come? On one condition. No girly vampires, please. <laughs> Get Love Actually, that's your dad's favourite. Really? Mm. No, 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 hang on. The Notebook. That one's really good if you want to see him cry. Oh. Hi, Sarah Potts speaking. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, I think she's around here somewhere. I'll just check. Phoenix Rayner, do you want to talk to him? Yes. Is he the one you have a crush on? Shut up. Oh, well, now you're not grounded anymore. You can ask him out. She's just here. One moment. Hi. Not much. We're going to watch a DVD. Boring, I know. I don't know, we'll probably go out for breakfast. Yeah, and then you've got the whole day. Ask him, ask him. <sighs> Want to hang out? Of course he does, otherwise he wouldn't have called you. All right, I'm minding my own business now. OK. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm meeting him at Sugar tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. I should have invited you. Thank you. I suppose I just thought you wouldn't be into it. My own daughter's birthday. Well, after last week's party, you made it pretty clear you didn't approve. I hope we weren't going to have a repeat of that. Everyone prancing around in netball bibs. No, but... But what? Well, I just think Maya had the right idea. You probably would be happier sitting down to a nice, quiet dinner. Because I'm too old and too much of a prude for anything else? I'm not saying that. Well, that's what it sounds like. I mean, I've been to some pretty wild parties in my time. And the Waikato? Oh, you'd be surprised. I've racked up more birthday parties than all of you, and suddenly all I'm fit for is a cup of tea and a lie down. A few days ago, you were calling me a bad influence because Maya dared to have a good time. Now we're getting somewhere. You didn't invite me to the party because you didn't like me telling Maya what I thought of you. It was revenge, pure and simple. That is so not true. Oh, I've heard more than enough from you. I'm going home. It's past my bedtime. I happened to bump into Maxwell in the lockers one day. He'd just come out of the shower. I was very struck by the tribal tattoo he had on his shoulder. But it wasn't really the time or place to ask him about it. He's had it for years. Scalpel, please. It's a fascinating subject, of course. Someone tattooing. 
There's a whole other dimension to it, I gather. I probably don't know as much as I should. Don't you touch yourself, Fasser? That's what he really wants to know. I beg your pardon? Well, this painful flirting has to be leading somewhere. What are his sats and blood pressure? 98% to 110 over 68. I have a wonderful book I could lend you, if you're interested. I don't think she is, mate. Put him out of his misery, will you? Sorry? You and Luke, any chance? I didn't think so. Let's get on with it, shall we? I missed you this morning. You didn't have to sleep in the spare room. I didn't want to wake you. You were out to it. <sighs> Not really. Did you and Mum manage to sort things out? Yeah. Yeah, we did. We're friends again. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yesterday was awful. My first birthday with me, and it's the worst one you've ever had. Mm -hmm. Not really. 12 through to 16 was pretty bad, too. What can I do to make it up to you? Come to lunch. You, me and Mum, and we can forget your stay ever happened. Sure. Sounds good. Here's the farm, right? And that goes all the way down here. Up here on the hill, that's all native bush. And there's this track. It gets really muddy, but it's worth it. Because when you get down the other side, it's just sea for miles. It's amazing that nobody ever goes there. Wow. Except for me and the dog. You must really miss it. Do you know what I really miss? The stars. You can't see them up here. You have to take me there someday. Hey, what's up? Phoenix was just telling me about where he grew up. What's the tell? It was all grass and sheep, wasn't it? That's all you know. I've got my VMX outside. Do you want to come to the skate park? What for? What do you mean, what for? To do some stunts? I haven't got a bike. Uh, use mine. We'll take turns. Yeah? Yeah, come on. What about your hot chocolate? You haven't even touched it yet. Just ask him for a paper cup. Do you want to come too? One bike, three people. Boring. I thought I was going to help you with your mess homework. Ah, uh, you've got all weekend for that. And it's meant to rain later. He's right. You go. Are you sure? Sweetest. I'll see you later. <laughs> 